some level of you know sadness to some extent disappointment even that you didn't get number one i mean so so how do you what, what process did you go through to finally say that you wouldn't even uh, be in a place of disappointment you went through some kind of process didn't you mm-hmm. and really and so you're not disappointed and it's not because anyone spoke to you maybe god has I see. So, so after this, though, what's what's happening with you? Mm-hmm. Our boys and to see Honorable Gloria Kusu had just to mm-hmm. know about me. Mm-hmm. I've always had to see them, but the day I will see their <laughs> reality, that will be the, the best day in my life. Oh! But after, so after this place, I would like to, like, for shows, and I know I'm mm-hmm. good. I flow in the English, so maybe I can go. I can be going to shows, mm-hmm. and that can be good. Okay, that sounds really good. Nakia has been doing that as well. Um, poetry in different spaces, poetry in different places. And though, um, with regards to your inspiration, poetry is not something that Ghanaians um, wake up doing. I mean, there are other forms of art 
that we are first and foremost interested in. So your side of poetry, what inspires you? Who put you into it? How did you get into it? <laughs> it's God. You are 10 now. Oh, it's possibly yes. I see. Have you ever written your own poems? Yeah, my brother. Yeah, you do it together. So, but if you are with play, you can't say that. You can't say that. You can't just say that. Your mother helps you. Of course, of course. And then, then that's what it is. She helped you do it. So tell me, just recite something for us right now. I <laughs> have a prize. A prize that is on the rise but we fail to realize that we do not owe so must not pay this price it is painful to pay this price with our body parts some people pay with their lives some people pay that they say is inevitable but some deaths definitely are preventable then life is precious we must be conscious paying a painful price many men women and children have visited their early graves ah the poor child can no longer have fun because he is now an orphan oh is this price not painful to pay oh terrible the handsome Ousu answer ebony rings Isaac Yabua all from the entertainment industry are gone oh and you said they are gone oh yeah no but that was a good one you know how you just break into character you're an actress or do you know yeah uh, point poetry too includes some some good acting you do a good job congratulations to all three of you rap fashion we didn't hear your rap so let's let's hear a quick one and then i'll speak to blessing i'll speak to andy and then also spike g all right yeah are you a big daddy? I'm here. Why would you give me? Got you, got you. We work. Yay, yay. <laughs> nice one. Sally, so we look forward to, to seeing your music. Okay, I also okay. look forward to seeing Salia's <laughs> pictures with, you know, all the honorables and uh, with the vice, uh, the, the, the second lady as well. And uh, uh, our winner, Akwara Nyame. When is your song coming out? Very soon. Very soon, eh? Very soon. Eh? <laughs> Is it a gospel song? It's got sports song in High Life. Hey, Mr. High Life. Why do you like High Life like that? Scatter everything. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it just moves you. Yes. Oh, that's it. That's all right. It's all good. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank now we'll have Blessing also join us. We'll have Spike G and we'll have Andy Double as well. This is a 3FM drive on 3FM 92.7. These kids right here, talented kids, 2021. That's a 12 season. They put in so much work and dedication. And certainly deserve to be recognized. Spike G.